The Dirt Show. Obviously, he won the first time by having a majority of the Electoral College. He didn't have a majority of the actual votes. And the second time, he was overwhelmingly defeated um, by the popular votes, but and also overwhelmingly defeated uh, by the electoral votes, although some of the states were close enough so that if there were a shift in thousands of votes here or there or there, maybe it could have been a different result. But in any event, he is a man who has the voting support of millions and millions of Americans. And the idea that a secretary of state or four judges in a four to three vote, all seven of them appointed by Democratic governors, should be able to deny Republicans or independents or even some Democrats uh, the right to vote for Donald Trump is so undemocratic, you know. Conservatives tried to do that uh, in the 1920s and the 1930s and during McCarthyism to communists. And some countries in the world do prohibit communists from running. In the United States, they were prohibited from running for a period of, of time. And, and we civil libertarians oppose that. And uh, we civil libertarians, I would hope, would oppose trying to take Donald Trump off the ballot as well. So I'm going to make a prediction. Uh, I am, I'm careful with my predictions because I want to have a 100% voting record so far. It's been that way. I predicted the Supreme Court take would review the case. I predicted that President Gay, if she showed if there were any more allegations, serious allegations of plagiarism, would probably have to leave. So I'm going to make a prediction. The Supreme Court will reverse the Colorado uh, case. If they take the main case, they will also reverse the main case. And um, what I won't predict is the vote. I would hope it would be a 9 nothing vote. I would think that would help unite the country, but there's certainly a possibility that one, two, or three, I can't imagine any more than that, would vote uh, to keep, uh, to, to um, take Trump off, off the ballot. I don't think three people will vote that way. I, I don't think that uh, that will be the case, but uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, so that's, that's, that's my judgment. Um, it's all, always, I say to you, I don't ever confuse my judgment with what I wish for, but in this case, I wish for that too. Um, I don't want Trump to be taken off the ballot. I don't want him to have any excuse for saying that he was improperly denied election. I want him to be defeated square, fair and square by an overwhelming, uh, majority vote, uh, largely because of what he said about, uh, democracy and, and dictatorship. I understand that. that may have been said in humor. It may have been said in anger. But it worries me a lot uh, when a man running for president says he'll he'll be dictator just on the first day and, and not after that. But um, there are a lot of reasons that I, I'm, I'm uh, worried about a Trump presidency. But it might happen. And if it does, we'll live with it. And uh, our system of checks and balances will prevent uh, tyranny from uh, occurring in this country, in my view, I hope. But um, but I, I sure hope the Supreme Court does the right thing. I think it will do the right thing, and, and the question is by, by what numbers. Um, I hope it's nine to nothing. All right, stay tuned. We'll wait and see. It's not long in coming, because the court has said argument for February, and I think in a case like this, like in Bush versus Gore, uh, the decision will come shortly thereafter. I'm, I'm hoping it's a, a relatively short uh, decision by the chief justice for the entire court. But if it's not, then you'll have, you know, if there are nine justices, you might have nine decisions on a case like this. So we'll wait and see.